we need to write these mixed numbers as improper fractions. So first, we have 1 and 1 fifth. That's a mixed number because we have a whole number and a fraction and we need to change that to an improper fraction. With improper fractions, the numerator is larger than the denominator. So how can we change mixed numbers to improper fractions? Well, the denominator stays the same, so in our improper fraction, the denominator will still be 5. But then, to get the numerator, we need to multiply the whole number by the denominator, and then add the numerator. So 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so that's our numerator. And what we're really doing when we change a mixed number to an improper fraction is changing the whole into the denominator. So here, changing one whole into 5 fifths. That's why we do 1 times 5 to get 5, so there you can see the 5 fifths here. And then we add the 1 fifth that we had in our question to give us 6 fifths in total. Now we have 2 and 5 sixths. Again, the denominator is going to stay the same. And we need to multiply the whole number by the denominator. So multiply 2 by 6 and then add 5. 2 times 6 is 12 and 12 plus 5 is 17. So that's our numerator. And you can see why this works because here we have two holes. But if we change those two holes into sixths, then what was two holes is now 12 sixths. And that's why we multiply 2 by 6 to get 12. Then we need to add the 5 sixths that we had in our question, and that gives us 17 sixths altogether. Finally, we have 3 and 5 eighths. Again, the denominator stays the same, and this time we need to multiply 3 by 8, so multiply our whole number by our denominator, and then we can add the numerator. So 3 times 8 is 24, and if we add the 5 from our numerator, that gives us 29 as the numerator of our improper fraction. And again, we can see why this works, because in 3 and 5 eighths, we have 3 holes. But if we split those three holes into eighths, that gives us 8, 16, 24 eighths. And if we add the 5 eighths that was in our question, that gives us 29 eighths altogether. So that's why we multiplied the whole number by the denominator and then add the numerator. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.